going on YouTube? Yeah, turn the video side. There we go. Here's how I know when to change my fuel filter. Now, your truck may be different, uh, but I'm going to show you on this one. All right, here's my fuel PSI. Usually, it's up at right at a little bit right above. It's about 51 psi. Normally, the truck's been. I warm the truck up, you know, to, to warm the fuel up a little bit, and you can see where it's at. Give it a little throttle. Comes up a little bit, but it's still uh, not where it should be. There's the, the fuel psi with that one, and then on this one. It's the restriction on the fuel filter. Now I'll show you, I'll tell you, uh, probably about a month ago, I was climbing up a, a hill. I was up in the hills of Pennsylvania, right above uh, Scranton, up near, right near New York. And it was like four degrees outside. So I'm climbing this hill. I probably had about a quarter tank of fuel in. And this needle, it kept going up, it kept going up, kept going up, kept going up. And what was happening was my fuel was gelling up. So that's what this gauge is for. They let you know what the restriction is in your fuel line. So if you have one of those, um, keep an eye on it. If you don't, uh, you might want to put one in. Um, so I'm going to change my fuel filter today and clean out my fuel element. So let's go outside. Let it focus, maybe. There we go. Here's my fuel element. This is my fuel and water separator. Uh, I'm gonna clean that out. There's a metal element in here that's serviceable. So I'm gonna take that over to the parts washer, clean that out, and let that focus. Here's a fuel filter right here. So I'm gonna change that out. And I already got my camera mount set up. So. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm still using the phone, so. Hey, you don't like the phone, make a donation. I'll get me a GoPro or something like that. Still not where I want it. Good enough. All right, let me uh, grab my gloves. Here's a new fuel filter right here. Me personally, I keep two pairs of gloves, at least two. One for everyday stuff like changing trailers and stuff like that, or whatever. And then I keep a truck, uh, a set of gloves for working on the truck. So with this type of fuel filter, I might have to get my other ones. They're a little more grippy. this thing up pull that off be right back now this one I'll grab a little oil somewhere on the motor put it around the seal 
don't know if you're getting that, like so. Don't have to be much. And then this goes back on here. These filters, these cat filters, the 1R0749, they're about 22, 23, 24, 25 bucks, depending on where you get it from. If you get it from the dealer, probably more. So this fuel filter doesn't say to add fuel to it when you change it. So, and I haven't had a problem with it. So you guys still rolling? Yep. So we're gonna go back into the truck. Start her up. Gonna run rough for for a minute or so, and then uh, there we go. It's going up. So as you can see, she's up there about 50 50 psi. So so that's how you change the fuel filter. Um, Fuel element, uh, the water, fuel water separator, that's a little bit more involved, so uh, I'm not going to do a video on that today, but this just give you an idea uh, if you buy an older motor uh, or a caterpillar, caterpillar motor of uh, how to keep these things going. Uh, hopefully you learned something. See ya.